On today's adventure, I take you back to the place where my family came face to face with a flash flood. I'll show you what it looks like today and whether it still poses a danger to others. Have we overcome the trauma and fear of that day? Stick around and find out on Capital Reef, The Return. to the Capitol Wash. This is that uh, wash that took us out a year ago. But today there's not a cloud in the sky and it's 90 degrees. So again, just like last time, we have plenty of water, plenty of food, and we could be here for as long as we needed. However, would like to finally, finally experience the uh, the beauty of this this wash. I think there's petroglyphs in this uh, canyon, but of course we gotta stop at the place where we got stuck. Actually, this was roughly about the same time of day that we came through last time. Here we go. Today's adventure back to Capital Wash to finish off what we started. Oh, look, attention flash floods. So, this is the last point before you enter into the gorge and drive through. And you go off, go off in this direction. And this is where the park rangers checked me out after we were able to exit. So we're almost to the point where we got hit. As we go down this straightaway, there's a, there's a big turn. This is where it hit that rock face and then had to make this turn. Right there. Here it is. This where's, is our spot. Where's the bush? The bush. The bush that we pulled back on. There's the rock. Here's our tree. Where's the bush? And here on the left is where we climbed up onto the embankment. Right here. Where's the bush? Right there. It's right there. Where? There's the bush. It's all burned. We are stuck there for so long. Windshield wipe it. Oh, yeah. Where are we stopping? Dad, where are we going? Right here. Why? Parking on the side. Going to where that bush was. Hey, welcome back to Capitol Gorge. This is where my family had their flash flood incident. And this is the, the spot. I'm on the other end of the embankment. 
uh, but we're going to show you uh, some of the the different viewpoints here and what occurred on that day. On this end, just uh, just at that high point there, this is where the helicopter landed and came and picked up my family while I spent my time over there on the island. There's our island of safety. You can also see that this is where the rock is, where that car uh, smashed into it uh, going backwards. It's pretty surreal to be back here and it's balming hot today. It's 90 degrees, uh, but there's not a cloud in the sky and so we're grateful. This is a, a pretty, uh, pretty amazing place, you know, even though we were stuck. This is the famous rock, the big boulder, where that car smashed into it. And the water was really high on this rock, several feet. And you can kind of see just how high it got right there. That's how high the water level got, which got to right here. You can see just how high. Now when the car hit it, it right I thought the car was going to go under here and get lodged under this rock. But it was able to dislodge and then head back around and continue downriver. Hit this rock. So this was all all underwater and it got up to the rock level and kind of see a little bit of the water level. Let's go, let's yeah. go up. This whole spot right here is full of water. Yeah, and this is... And then we are driving on the other side right there and then the water went straight towards us. So we had nothing to do. Several feet of water. This is a low spot right here. But this is all clean. This is just smooth rock right here. Just to kind of show you how, how deep it got. But when we were here, there was a waterfall coming down. Coming down this, this cove. And then we stopped. And that's where we stopped. And we drove all the way up until we got to this point right here just before you go around the turn. Now I'm going to show you what around the turn looks like. But you see all these black marks on the rock? That's where the water was pouring down the sides. And you can see right there where the waterfall was. All the black marks. Watch out. Okay, so right here, this is the death trap. So the water came around the corner and it started to build up against this wall. And you can kind of see how high and it's got to make a turn. So it gave us a little bit of time. So we were backing up, up that road to see if we could get away from it. Now I'm going to show you. When you get around this turn, this is the death trap. So come around this turn, and I didn't make it around the turn. But you come around the turn, right there, there is nowhere to go. And we would have been driving up that for several hundred feet and, and had no exit. So this really was the last place where we could try to retreat because even up on this embankment, it got pretty high. And you can see there's still cars coming and going through the canyon. So you get going along. Now we this is where we gunned it in reverse. You get going in reverse and we are backing up 
backing up the road and the river the river has come the river has come along here alongside the river it crosses the road now we back up we keep backing up and the river is now going this way and it's not going up on the road yet initially and then it starts getting higher and higher until it starts also going up the road so you can see just how high the water got in contrast to this lower level this road also having water on it and it's flowing up it's hitting this rock it's coming around this tree right here now they've come through several times with road equipment because this slope right here was not as steep it was a little more gradual so as the river is starting to come up this road and I'm in reverse I gun it and I jump this embankment okay so I jump this embankment and I land on, on top bush. of this bush which for whatever reason is still still kind of here but it's it's pretty well dead at this point oh yeah look this and it where, used to look like one of these bushes. This is where our back tires were. So you can see where my tires were. And you can see just how steep it was to try to get up here. God, look, these are the rocks you put here last time. And here's my rocks. So here's my pile of rocks. And <laughs> it does look like people took my rocks for souvenirs, little buggers. Because I had about five or six rocks here, but there's still still a couple rocks. And that's what I was using to try to prop up the back end. But look, look at how steep it is to the road. Oh, look. Here's my stick. Oh, yeah, that's the <clears throat> stick you tried to put under the truck and try to get all the dirt out. Yeah. There's my shovel. <laughs> oh yeah. And look, here's the other shovel. Oh yeah. <laughs> Watch out the there's, practice. There's the other shovel. Same stuff. Up here last time. Most people they would say, oh you need to you need to keep that. Okay, so here's the rock behind where I tried to tie off. I thought that this rock was going to be heavy enough, stable enough. But as I pulled on this rock, it was sliding. And this tree was too far away. And it was off to my left side. And there's nothing else around me. There's no other fixed point. This was strictly to my left, this rock, which probably could have pulled myself like pulled myself to the left with that rock because that one I don't think would slide but there's nothing else around that's stable there's no other trees there's nothing that's going to help me get out of this situation oh okay so there's the face Can you see the face there's the two eyes and the mouth that's what was behind me. Where? But later in the day, the sun is going to cast the shadow differently. But uh, that's a that's a pretty big hole in for one of the eyes. I didn't realize that. That must be a nest or something. That's a gigantic hole. It doesn't look like water's coming through it. One black? But yeah. There it is. Where? There's the face. Pile up these rocks again. These are all my rocks. 
Well, the rock's back up, buddy. Later in the year, we'll just gonna be coming here. One more rock. No. But these are my rocks. Here, put some rocks on top if you want. These are the rocks that you use to try to dig them out. And look, mm -hmm. these are the rocks that I put below. These are my little tiny rocks. Yeah, those are your little rocks. We did quite a bit of digging. You can see the ruts. Dad. It's amazing that I made it up this. The person pulled you and then all these rocks just went all the way down. I could have had better luck if earlier on I pulled myself up onto this side. This is where the helicopter landed. Right there. To no, pick Dad, us up. Here, buddy. Take some rocks. There you go. One more rock. Here you go, there's our spot. Look how high that is. That's what the truck was sitting on top of. Certainly a, a beautiful place to be all by yourself. There you can see the face from this yeah, perspective. We that way. Then we went right. There you can see the black marks from where all the waterfalls dropped. There was even one right there. It was dropping another one right there. Okay, now let's see if we can get down to the parking lot and hopefully it's not too busy. We'll get down there and we'll see how the how the awning area is looking and uh, and see where the water was actually coming off off the rock face and underneath the rock. So I'll take you down there now. <laughs> 